Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 26. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the NSXV Skyline event. Uh, starting off with Sunset Peninsula, Suzuka, Miguelo, and then Amalfi Coast. Let's go. All right, let's go. Do you know, as soon as you said zero, I went from seven to four. <laughs> Cheers for that, Kono. You jinxed it. It's all your fault. <laughs> Sag. And I... Do you think you could get used to this? I remember when we went in. Multicolor paint on my skin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bro has a shark fin on his car. I do! I'm a little shark! Duh, 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 duh. Does chat want a gift? Sure. Chat loves gifts. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 12 till 12 on Saturday. Uh, we'll do the F1 stuff. Which, by the way, chat, if you don't know... Uh, we are doing a 12-hour stream on Saturday. Um, yeah, set an alarm, Cotter. I'll probably, like, ring you maybe 20 minutes beforehand, half an hour. Um, and then we can just sort of hop in a VC and just vibe till 12 o'clock. So, yeah, if you set an alarm for, like, 11, you, that should be decent enough for a lion anyways. I'll be waking up at 11. I'm not waking up any earlier than that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I probably need to let my grandparents know that I am busy this Saturday. And to not fucking plan me anything. Because otherwise I'll go fucking ballistic. I got the fucking 2pm. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I will, uh, Kodo. Um, if you join early, I can show you how, how it's done and we can get that sorted out. Turn it into daylight. You're the only thing that I need. Whoa! What are you gonna do for twelve hours? Um. Why has my mind gone blank? Oh yeah, F1. Yeah. What Kodo says. Listen to Kodo. Kodo's got better idea than I do. <laughs> yeah, so it's just uh, 12 hours of uh, co-op career. Been here pretty often recently. I appreciate it, man. Motherfucking ads! I, I'm really surprised that you're getting ads, Kodo. Um, you shouldn't be. Joe, I really, really, really want to get that. That uh, F1 manager game. It looks awesome. I could watch you for a lifetime. Can suck my wee pixie dick. Okay. That's, uh... What? 
First of all, who are you telling to suck your wee pixie dick? And second of all, why are you publicly admitting that you've got a tiny cock? Are you okay? Who even sent it? I can't even remember who sent it because Aaron blocked it. <laughs> got an ad about sheep. About sheep? Unbelievable. Sheep shagger. It must think you're Welsh, Coddo. <laughs> what is this that you've just sent me, Aaron? Yes, clip by Aaron. <laughs> the can just gist of it. Oh my god, I forgot that even happened. Oh my god. Scott Chegg. Oh, Scott Chegg. Ah. Okay, yeah. I get it. Ha ha ha. Unpopular opinion. I don't like Scotch eggs. Because they're cold and they're dry. No matter where you buy them from. To be fair, I've only bought supermarket bought ones. I've not, like, tried homemade ones. Before. But every single supermarket that you buy a Scotch egg from, they just taste dry and... Ugh. So I don't like it. The flavours are always pretty good, but, like... If the texture's shit, I'm not going to eat it. You know. I'm a new. I'm a real one, that's why. I'm a real G. Don't even come talking to me. I'm the real G. The 80s. Super GT's American act. American account is Scott Chegg. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Is that where it go came from? That's amazing. That is amazing. Scott Chegg. <laughs> Acceptable at the time. <laughs> Oh, fuck! I've hit the touchpad. I didn't mean to rewind. I'm sorry. Do do. I don't know why. I've never heard of that. that that's prop. That's like a bend over or a um just in time. It's like one of those funny name puns. It's ah, oh, that's awesome. Zeno now has an identity disorder and now uh, identifies as both Zeno and Scott Chegg simultaneously. <laughs> oh, that's fucking... Oh, my God. 80s, the 80s. I've got love for you if you were born in the 80s. This is such a tune. Maths debater. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. The clip is on 70. What clip is on 70? I'm curious to know what clip's on 70. You're telling me I like to play with my penis is at 70 views now on Twitch. You are joking. I do not believe you. There is no way that that's at 70 views. I will check up in a second. Oh, you are fucking joking. It is. Oh my god. 
So my most viewed clip is now at 70 views. And it's me screaming that I like to play with my penis. Chat, what have you done to me? You know I'm now going to become, like, permanently unemployable. Because if any employee finds my Twitch channel, the most viewed clip is me talking about me playing with my penis. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, great. Twitch has just uh, confirmed that my career is permanently going to be a content creator. <laughs> Chat, you should share my stream out more because I need money now. <laughs> A job is out of the question. <laughs> Not bad. Eight grand. We got 10% discount on valves and displacement upgrades by Hub. Do you know what the funny thing is, Codo? I couldn't really disagree. <laughs> I'll be honest, right? I, d I don't care if I shit talk McDonald's, because fuck him. McDonald's was... Like... Such a bad place to work. Um, customers were never nice. As a start. This is why I say, if anyone ever goes and gets food from McDonald's... Give them a break. Don't complain that your food's taking too long, because... Typically, if it's taking too long, it means it's fucking busy. Um, and also, if there's a problem with your food, fucking put up with it. Obviously, if your food is undercooked or whatever, then yeah, that's a problem. Be polite about it and get it sorted. But if there's, oh, your, your chip bucket that you've got has got, it's not quite overflowing. Just grow up. Honestly, the, the amount of times that people come up and say, Oh, my chip's not full. Well, they've fallen out in the back. Yeah, but they're not full. Fucking grow a pair. So, customers were assholes. Uh, and also, managers were assholes. For some unknown reason. So, people give fast food workers in general too much shit, to be honest. Like, just show some decent human respect. The thing is, everyone shows a lack of respect in retail. Like, I, I can't even remember a time when I've gone into a food place, a restaurant, a shop to buy clothes. Actually, to be honest, I don't think I've ever gone into a shop to buy clothes. Uh, to go buy video games, whatever. I don't think I've ever been into a shop where I've even felt a need to raise my voice. So why do people do it so often in retail? It just confuses me. I've never once felt the need that I've needed to raise my voice to argue with someone about something or anything. So, why the fuck do people do it on a daily basis? And, like, when it comes... Like, I've had... Many times I've had to return stuff into shops. Never had a problem. I've just explained to them and been like... Look, my game's not working... Would, it, would you be able to replace it with a new one? Um, because I can't use this at the moment. But yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll get that sorted for you. Get it refunded. Get it swapped out. Whatever. All done. Go back to working at Mackey's. We can treat you like some kind of king. I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to go back anyways. I got fired there. Well, it's a funny story, but I'll tell it on the next clip. Because it's so long that it, it won't fit in. But yeah, I got fired from McDonald's. Oh, I know. Such a hard job to get fired from. Actually, surprisingly, it's not. <laughs> but, funnily enough, I, actually, no. I Yeah, it's very hard to get fired from McDonald's unless you do something wrong. Yeah, I got fired from McDonald's. But it's a funny story that needs to be explained. So... That's good. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> yeah. I breathed in. I think I swallowed a fly. Ugh. Protein. Woohoo. Yeah. 
on its own, it's funny. But, like, it's not a funny, like, hey, you're a failure kind of funny. Like, it... This was out of no fault of my own why I got fired. Um... Obviously, for me, I will always say I resigned because I did resign. But according to McDonald's, I got fired. Because they, uh... Yeah, it's, they never got my resignation, but I'll, I'll, I'll explain it in the next clip. <laughs> so that YouTube can hear my story. Because, again, we got to uh, satisfy the YouTube viewers as well. Not bad. Seven and a half grand. All right, here we go. Right, so continuing story time um so yeah got fired from mcdonald's and the long story short is that um <clears throat> start of covid lockdowns back in 2020 we sort of um mcdonald's was obviously one of the big companies that was like we're gonna close our doors um and they put every employee on furlough pay now granted when i look back on it i was probably a little too cautious <coughs> Um, and it probably would have been fine, me going back to work. But in September, they were like, while COVID was gaining again, because everyone was going back out, because we came out of lockdown too early, uh, while COVID was spiking again, and there wasn't a vaccine for coronavirus, um, they asked for me to go back to work. Now, I knew they had um, half of their employees were staying on furlough pay half of them were going into work so i said could i please um i i sort of bullshit my way through this because the real reason was that i was uncomfortable working but i knew that if i said oh i wasn't un i wasn't comfortable wearing a face mask in a work environment environment but i also am not comfortable working with people they just say, well, just get to work and put on a face mask, you're fine. So, I sort of bullshitted and said, I can't go because I've got grandparents. Um, and I don't want to risk giving them COVID. At which point they responded with what I expected. Oh yeah, just turn up to work, go with a face mask, you'll be fine. Which, again, with based off of how uneasy the news was... Granted, it was probably the news that made me more scared than I actually needed to be. But that's what they did. And I didn't feel comfortable going to work. Um, we go another three or four weeks along. Um, and uh, we end up going on holiday. Um, and obviously... The main problem was not the fact that my grandparents could have got it. That w wasn't the main focus. That was sort of a bit of a lie. But there obviously is a slight concern that that could have happened. The main problem was the fact that I didn't want to wear a face mask on a work shift for about eight hours. Um, because it stresses me out. Wearing face masks stressed me out for long times. Like, sure, I could go for an hour shop and I'd be fine. But I would need, after that hour, to not wear the face mask for the rest of the day. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rewind. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be able to wear the face mask for the rest of the day. I'd go home, I'd relax. Because it's part of the autistic side of stuff. I don't find it comfortable. Um, so obviously, when we went on holiday, we had no problem. Because I had grandparents there... There wasn't the worry of getting stressed out, having a face mask on and stuff like that. Um, I'm sort of a little better when it comes to face masks, because we obviously had more time with it. But, you know. Um, yeah, so... It was fine. But before I went on holiday... I had these managers were saying, we've put you on the rotor, why are you not turning up for work? And I'm like, I said, I'm not comfortable coming into work yet. Um, and obviously my manager had then also at the same time declined my holiday that I had um, 
scheduled in months beforehand because of the fact that we were off lockdown and then on lockdown, so they sort of assumed that scenarios would change. Um, and I sent them my resignation letter to, uh, what's it called? To their emails. Didn't receive it. Sent them multiple messages. Didn't receive it. I even sent one through the post. Yo, Shadow, what is up? How are you today? Sent one through the post. Did not respond, and I ended up with an email saying, if you don't come in to work within 48 hours, we will terminate your contract and fire you. And, um, I was in another fucking country at that point. <laughs> so I had no choice. Couldn't contact them, couldn't go into work, because guess what? I told them I wasn't comfortable going into work. Um, and they were just pushing. Um... So yeah, I got fired from McDonald's. All right, we are here for the Fair Lady Z Cup. We're gonna be driving the uh, 370Z. I just dropped money, lovely. Uh, starting off with Suzuka, moving on to Twin Ring, New York, and then Sebring, let's go. All right. Why the fuck was, oh yeah, I remember. Huh? Was I your child? I remember. We're in a weird fucking family tree. <laughs> uh, yes, we're just doing 12 hours of Formula 1. Obviously, sometimes we might have to, like, have a stop, but yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I miss it as well. There are days that I miss it and I wish it could have gone better, but when I look back on it, and especially those last few months, I was like... I'm glad I ended it when I did. Because if I had carried it on, God, there was not much of me left. There was not much of the team left. And there was not much of um, the rest of the leads left. Like, it was just all falling apart mentally, physically. I think it was good that I ended it when I did. Yeah, wow, well, you don't need to know about it. Turn up the lights. Mm-hmm. I know you were. There were quite a few people, but... I think it was more worse the fact that there was just a load of completely immature people in there. Um, and I, I would put on um, my own fault that I picked the wrong people. I'll be totally honest. The people that I brought onto the lead team, even though they had shown during the time that they were there that they were worthy of, you know, working with us, I clearly picked the wrong team. I had some members, like, some members of the team were making, like, racist comments nonstop, which I just had to deal, deal with. Harassment, there was... Uh, what else was there? We had one one of the leads, which was almost like the final straw, got in an absolute pissy because I was stepping down. And because I didn't set him as the person to take over for me, for the meantime, while I'm taking a break, just completely went off at me and said, oh, it's all your fault, all the decisions are going bad. Because I made one decision that didn't go his way. So far, as far as I know, he's just completely quit Twitch and everything, which is kind of funny. But. I think the only person out of the entire team, even though me and him did bicker sometimes because we were passionate about our interests, like, when it came to tech, I think the one person that I respected the most was P. Kerry, to be perfectly honest. P. Kerry was the one person I respected the most, and I still do respect him. <laughs> like, crazy. My curious ass is trying to be subtle about questions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, P. Kerry was a lad. I understand he had to quit because the Twitch side just wasn't working for him, and that's fair enough. 
I was gutted that he left the team because he didn't have to leave. He could have stayed in as uh, a member rather than a streamer. But things happen. I <laughs> just see here like, <laughs> I got no clue. Yeah, uh, basically, you know, it was an old stream team that we had. Didn't go well, as you can tell. But yeah, pretty much P. Kerry was the one person that I still respect to this day that was in that team. I'll be totally honest. As much as he could be tough to work with, he never caused problems and it was just a decent lad. You could always talk to him and whatever. Everyone else just wanted to cause drama. <laughs> yeah, there's... Um, you might remember from before when I was doing like the 12-hour Gran Turismo streams. I think it was back in July I did a 12-hour Gran Turismo stream, so... Yeah, you might know it from that. Not bad. Seven and a half grand. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Cotto, you... Did you just say you're reading? As much as I do miss it, I respect your decision for what you did now as much as I wasn't happy about it now. Yeah, like... I wasn't happy about it. Like, a lot of people were like... There were a couple of people that was just saying, well, why aren't you keeping it? It was like, you don't think I tried? Like, a lot of people were like... Thinking that I had either given up. Yeah, I gave up. Yeah, we'll put it that way. Because, like, I was gutted that we had to shut the team down. Because there was nothing else to do. We've been trying for about three months to get it on track. But unfortunately, a large majority of the team, they were just too toxic. And again, that goes against the principle of what the team was about. Like, I understand we end up with some people that cause problems. That's just a fact of life. That's going to happen. But um, when you've got people in your own team in your staff group that's supposed to be working with the team with you being toxic, it's a lot more difficult. And again, it's, it's hard for people that weren't in that circle to realize. And the thing is, it wasn't even a problem of um, the members, the individuals in the team themselves. There was nothing wrong with that. It was the fact that because some people weren't happy that stuff didn't go their way, they just threw a tantrum. Um, and obviously when I said no more, no one's thrown a tantrum, they threw an even bigger tantrum, you know. It's difficult, to be honest. To run your own streaming community is difficult. But we had it... Or I had it under control. Until I started letting people... Like, think that they were above what they were. The thing is, when... See, I genuinely... When I, when I made the community... Um, we obviously came from a different community, which went to shit. It was a very negative place towards the streamers that were there. Um, and there were multiple people who didn't like that team because of the fact of stuff that they had done. Um, and so we all left to make a different team. Obviously, I was going to be financially supporting it, funding it. It was my team, but I didn't want it to appear like that. I wanted everyone to feel equal, and that's what we did. But unfortunately, a lot of people took advantage of the fact that everyone was equal, took advantage of that, and abused it. So, out of my own generosity, the fact that I treated everyone with the same level of respect... People abuse that fact. And what do you know? Ten months later, we have to shut the team down because there's too much harassment. So, lurk lurking harder than mechs. 
cool. <laughs> oh, I get what the gap is. I get what the blank is. Yeah. No, it's it's very much not Coddo. Crumpets are stupid. I hope you're joking there. That is a British delicacy. You can't be dissing the crumpet. You're a crumpet. <laughs> Crumpets are nice. Yeah, I'm gonna hunt you down. So, uh, is this uh, shadow that lives at one, two, three, get fucked street? <laughs> Time to send the nukes. <laughs> oh, shut up, Zeno. <laughs> dun dun dun. Da, na, na. I don't care, Shadow. Trust me, if you want shitty jokes, ask Aaron for some jokes. Actually, no, don't, because then Aaron will be saying jokes. Ah, oh, Aaron's going to be sending jokes every, like, five minutes now for the rest of the stream. Ah, oh, kill me, please. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. 10% discount on brakes upgrades by AP Race in Japan. Nice. I, I'm not exactly sure what the definition of what a crumpet is. I think it's like a bread kind of thing. But it's like when you cook it, the bottom goes like really hard and crispy, but the top is like fluffy. Uh, and when you put butter on it, it goes like really smooth. Um... Nissan or shit, by the way. The shit when I crash it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I just completely zoned out of red chat. I forgot that this has um, a chicane on it. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I like the Z series. Like, I like the 370Z. I'm not a great fan of the 350 because it looks a little bit like a dog's bollock. Um, woo woo. The 400Z, I love the new 400Z that they've showed off. It's supposed to be coming out in 2023, I believe. Yeah, I fucking love that car. It's beautiful. It sounds amazing. But yeah. See, that's the thing. Okay, auto mod's a bit weird. <laughs> Just don't eat English delicacies. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. You hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers. He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Shadow, this is what I mean. This is what I mean, Shadow. As soon as I mentioned that, the joke started. And now in five minutes time, sometimes if I'm unlucky, it will be two minutes or one minute. But in no more than five minutes time, he's going to start sending more. Looking for a way. Said I'm looking for a party. All I want to see is girls around me. If you just know, don't ask me. You don't know I ain't greedy. You can see that from my actions. Like a book you can read me. I'll take a pic then work out the captions. Yeah. It's a tune. Meow. <laughs> Said I'm looking for a party. That was close. Turn off ads, Mech, please. No. I need to get monetary monetized somehow. When you think about it, while there's... I know people are going to say it's greedy. But, like... I'm already in a financial struggle as it is. Um... I kind of need those ads to take the edge. 
off of the amount that I want to try and invest into Twitch streaming. So, by all means, if you want no adverts, you can subscribe. Because it's not that much, and it supports the channel. And if you don't want to support that way, that is fine. You can support by watching the adverts. It's a free way of supporting. I don't, I don't see there's a problem with that. I Again, if, if it's that much of a problem... I know you're subbed, so I think it is a bit of a bug. But there's no point in me turning it off. For everyone. Because then, again, it's... You know, lost revenue, lost this, that, and the other. You know, it's, it's got to be even as well. Again, granted, I know you're subbed, but... Though, if I was going to ban someone, Aaron is first on my list with all the shit jokes. Let's be honest. <laughs> I'm joking, Aaron. What's adopted and smells like a pig? Aaron. Oh, God. <laughs> That's brilliant. Hear about the new restaurant called Karma. There's no menu. You get what you deserve. Joe, you know what? That, that's a good one. That's a good one, Aaron. Okay, I'll, gi I'll give you props. But, like, only 20% of your stuff is good now, Aaron. So don't call this number anymore. Because I'm on letting it for you like I was before. It's a tune. I, I love the drum and bass remix of this. It's fucking killer. Pack up your shit and go. New, new. Pack up your shit and go. Said it was a one time thing. Aaron, you've said my name and not responded. You've not given me anything in like over a minute. Are you typing me an essay? Because if you are, I ain't reading it. I don't read anything more than 280 characters. <laughs> Thanks, you, Twitter. <laughs> Pack up your shit and go. I can't trust you anymore. Cause I'm only there for you like I was before Pack up your shit and go Pack up your shit and go Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, no. I have crashed the car. <laughs> bye bye. Car's gone into the wall. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, already banned person. <laughs> This tears
Nothing matters but the pain. Yo, Daisy, what is up? Long time no see. How you been? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome back to the shit show. <laughs> simp. <laughs> no, simp is the good word here. We can't be calling them the good word. <laughs> There we go. And we got 11 grand for that. Not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.